Recently, Sequoia was released for developers, so you can test functionality of the newest Macintosh system on your desktop before you upgrade. Hi, I'm Tom D, and in this video, I want to show you how to start the newest operating system from Macintosh from Apple called Sequoia on your current MacBook using Parallels as a virtual machine manager. Let's start. On the download website, type Xcode to search Xcode packages. Search for Xcode 16 release candidate. Here, download it and you can automatically unzip it with your archive manager. After the while, the file is downloaded and expanded into your catalog. Double click on the application. Accept the terms and conditions. Choose Mac OS 15 and install. Xcode is installed and you need to restart it to complete the update. You can see summary what's new in Xcode and you can minimize this app. Now time to download the Macintosh operating system. In the same developer's download section, you need to find out Mac OS 15 release candidate. You can see there is a image, restore image, that you can use. Download it to your laptop and open the control center. Here you can add the new virtual machine. Click install Windows, Linux or Mac OS from a image file. Click on continue. Here choose a file that you downloaded from Apple development section. Choose Mac OS 15. Restore image. Open it. Click continue to install. Choose a name for your Macintosh. Create. It will be just a moment to create the new virtual machine. Now you can start it up. Right click and click on start. This is the longest path, so I speed it up a little bit. The installation should be done within a few minutes. And then you can see welcome screen. Proceed and choose your language. Choose your location as well. Continue, not now. Continue. You can skip that by choosing not now. This as well you can skip. Skip. You need to agree on terms and conditions. Agree. Now set up your username for that operating system. In my case is Tom D. Password Tom D. Continue. You can continue and don't use your location if you don't want. Set up your time zone, continue. You don't need to share the analytics with Apple. This you can as well skip for now. Disable Siri as it doesn't work as it should. And here you can set up your favorite color dim. Welcome to Mac. Now system is up and running so you can log in inside. If you want to copy paste commands to your virtual machine, you need to install Parallels tools. This will let you access the clipboard on this operating system in virtual machine. So you can copy and paste commands over there. It's a quick process after that you need to restart virtual machine. Once the restart is done, you can log in again using your username and password. And from now you can use the clipboard of your host machine inside the virtual machine. You can close that window. In this video you have learned how to set up the newest Macintosh version 15 release candidate as a virtual machine on your current Macintosh. So in this way you can test it out before it will finally release so you know if you can update or maybe you can wait for some bugs to be fixed. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Have a nice coding. Bye.